Alright, so this tutorial is merely just uh, an overview of uh, MakeHuman. So if you go to makehuman.org, you can um, go to download and you can download MakeHuman. Um, I believe there's a Mac version as well as i uh, I'm not sure. Let me see. Did we, did we do it? Yes. Okay, so there's a Mac version. The nice thing about this program is you actually don't have to, um, at least I know for the, the, the PC version, uh, the Windows version, you don't actually have to install it. Uh, it comes as like a, a zipped folder and then you just uncompress it and it's just, it's all self existing inside of a folder. So it's not like it has to be installed. So if you are on like a school's computer or whatever, you don't have to be, you don't have to actually install the software. Not hundred percent how that's going to work as far as a, a Mac is concerned, but, um, uh, anyway, so you just go here you go to download and you can download it. Okay. So, um, which is pretty cool. So. Once you have a download, you can open it up, which I have it right here, and it went over here. And it's a folder. You just go to Make Human. It's going to pop open a shebang -a bang um, Let's see. Here we go. That looks pretty cool. Um, basically, it's just going to allow you to uh, produce uh, relatively quickly, uh, much like a, a video game, a 3D model. Um, so that you can rig it. Okay. So right off the bat, um, we have files. I don't really care that much by that. Um, modeling geometries, blah, blah, blah. Settings, utilities. We really don't need too many of these things. Um, okay. So let's go to modeling. Um, let's see. Where is the one that I want? All right. Um, Honestly, you just go right down these tabs, and then you just kind of adjust it. So right off the bat, it's it's got a gender thing. So you got male to female. I'm obviously a dude. I'm pretty. I'm not very masculine, but I'm very Cro Magnum. Uh, I'm a little bit older than average. Uh, my muscle. I'll leave about average. Weight's a little bit above. Height a little bit short. I'll put you down there. Uh, proportions. Um, we'll go a little bit wide. Um, let's see. Oh, it's mostly just doing, well, it's kind of making them skinnier too. So actually I'm going to take that off a little bit. Uh, I'm kind of Caucasian. All right. I'm pretty pale. All right. Go like that. All right. Um, then it has basically different things to adjust the, uh, gender. Okay. So, um, you can see there's a bunch of things dealing with breasts, if you will. Uh, and then there's one dealing with genitalia. Okay. So honestly, for the most part, you shouldn't have to deal with that. There are things also dealing with the face, with the torso, arms, legs, random stuff, uh, custom stuff, uh, and measuring stuff. Okay. You, you just go right down the line, just go right through, do whatever, what have you. That's great. So that's the modeling tab and it has all these sub categories. Okay. Then we can go to geometries. Now, so hide faces under clothes. Uh, basically, you can add, they have hats and all these different filters, and you can add all these clothes and things, um, which is fine. Uh, there's not really a, a ton of options here, but if you want to add stuff, you want a Canadian tuxedo, there you go. Okay, so, um, so I'm click that. Uh, eyes, teeth, blah, blah, blah. The only one I really find that is actually kind of relevant. So the rest of these are whatever, and you can add these. I don't really care. You really don't need a tongue or eyelashes or eyebrows. Um, and honestly, you really don't need teeth, hair, or eyes. So actually, this whole geometry thing, for the most part, don't even worry about. You can add clothes if you want. That's fine. But um, topologies is the only one I actually care about. So if you go over here, uh, we have a, a variety of options. So if I click on this one, it gives me my geometry. Okay, so this little button here. And basically what they do is they have these like pre-made geometry options. Okay. So we have the none, we have male generic. Okay. Um, we have male muscle, uh, and proxy. So proxy is no good cause that's too low res. Um, male muscle is not too bad. Generic is okay. Um, Let's see female muscle or none I honestly personally would probably go none 
I think that's actually probably the best one. Um, the main thing is don't do the proxy one because this is too low res. I mean, it's nice because it's kind of low res. Uh, but I think, let me see. I mean, that's kind of high res, but uh, I would probably go the none route. Okay, so uh, good. So we'll just do that. And then they have materials. You can uh, apply different, um, turn this back off. Oops, I don't know what I just did. Was that smooth? Smooth, yeah, we don't need that. Uh, let's just double check something. Okay, good. Yeah, we need the opposite of smooth. Um, but they have different, um, basically, textures you can apply to it. We don't need any of that business. We're not going to worry about pose or animating. None of that's going to be necessary. We're not going to worry about rendering. Um, settings really don't matter. Utilities don't matter. Okay. So um, you're going to go through and you are basically going to uh, make just all the sliders, just like you would do with a video game. Once you're done, what I want you to do, and you can even, like, even if you plan on sculpting on this character, you can build it in here and then bring it into ZBrush, uh, Mudbox, 3D Coat, Sculpt, I don't care, any one of the numerous programs, and sculpt them in that pro in those programs using this as, a, as your base mesh, okay? But anyway, so once this is done, we just need to export it, okay? So we have basically export and we have save. So you might want to do both, but export is the main thing we're going to be worried about. So it's going to bring up export. You can see there's Colada, FBX, Wavefront, uh, Ogre 3, I have no idea what that is. And STL is for stereolithography. I didn't know that. But we use that for 3D printing. Um, and BVH and actually Colada, both are actually good for uh, mocap. We're not worried about that. So really the two options you want to worry about are either um, FBX or um, the Wavefront OBJ. Okay. FBX will give you the media, uh, meaning like textures information, also rig information. Uh, Wavefront will give you straight up only the model. It'll also give you the material. It'll make a .mat uh, file, um, but I'm honestly not that concerned about it. So um, you can choose either one of these. I typically go more towards the Wavefront OBJ just because I find it cleaner. FBX is better. I mean, if I had only have one ever, I would choose FBX because it can do so much. But OBJ is so clean because it just gives you the, just the model. And then when you bring it into uh, Maya, just apply materials onto things. Don't even worry about, like, just randomly select stuff. So I would say do an OBJ. Click on the thing here. Uh, export to whatever you want. So I'll just call this, like, dude. Okay. Save. Um, it's going to be called dude, I'll hit export and it will export out the model. And then, uh, in Maya, I can actually open them up. So I'll just show you, I'll open up Maya. Okay. And I'll actually pause this while it is. All right. Maya is open. So now what I want to do is import that into here, right? So to do that, first thing you want to do is go to windows. Settings Preferences, Plugin Manager, and make sure if you scroll all the way down, boop, 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 you want to look for, I'm going to scroll back up, so it was um, Windows, Settings Preferences, Plugin Manager, um, and want to look for OBJ Export, you want to make sure that's loaded and auto load, okay? Um, basically, that's going to allow you to import uh, OBJs, if you did the OBJ, you could also have done the FBX. So then I'm just going to import, go to my desktop. Look for that dude. There's dude. You can see it made it. Oh, I'm sorry. It's an MTL, a material file. It's MTL. I thought, I th I thought it was MAT. So uh, OBJ, import, boop, and there's your dude. Or dudette, depending on what you're making. Okay. And then from there, I can start working on uh, my rig. Okay. So you have a really basic kind of thing. Uh, so that's how you would use the Make Human. So if you don't have a model to already work with, or if you don't feel confident in the model that you have, you can uh, pump this out. You got yourself a, a dude, uh, and you can start rigging it. Okay? So there you go.